Hazel E. brushes daughter Ava's hair during mommy duty. I didn't know baby's hair like falls out and then like their new hair comes in. So I'll be like one day her hair, she got more than the next day it'd be gone. Her dad doesn't like when I do like a mohawk on her. So, mm. you know, like no boy. She don't look like a boy. Wear no Chuck Liddell haircut. Chuck, who's Chuck Liddell? You look freaking UFC fighter. <laughs> I have my baby looking like a UFC fighter. Just said, Ava, hey, but it looks like Chuck Liddell. No, she don't look like him, but you trying to have the hairstyle. Yeah. The only thing my baby gonna be missing is <laughs> gloves. Huh? I look so crazy without my last jaw. I look bald. But I was extension extensions, and then it's just be gone. Can I get a bow? Ava, can I get up so I can hit your bow? Look at her. <laughs> Say hi. Say I six months now, you guys. I'm a big girl. <laughs> big baby. See, Mr. Cat was prancing. Go, go, go. <laughs> he could not be a baby. Yeah. Uh, you want this brush so bad, huh? She's teething, so everything goes in her mouth. <laughs> no, not this though. This. Yeah, do it, baby. Do the Beyonce. Do the Beyonce. <laughs> Little H Town baby. Look at you with the phone. Say hi. Say hi to all my auntie, my TTs and uncles, my internet aunties and uncles. We love you. We love you. We love our internet TTs and uncles. <laughs> God bless you. I really want to put a bow in there. You got those little bows, babe? Mm -hmm. Hey, but can I get up? Oh my goodness. Sit right here, okay? You talk to the internet aunties and uncles and you tell them. You tell them about everything, okay? No, but you Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, look at oh. the mom. You need stockies on, mommy. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get. 
So I can sit up, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. What, baby? Hey. <laughs> 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 Aww. Let's show my cute booty on shorts. <laughs> Back to mommy life. Look at her. Look at your fat baby. No, don't put it in your mouth. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Thank you. I feel you with the body shaming. What up, Cherie? How you doing, sis? Hi, guys. Oh, you fat. But my question <laughs> to is, what, what happens when you ain't pregnant and you still fat? What the f are you gonna say for your excuse? Do y'all like my fatness? Y'all like my curves? Okay. You like it? You like laying on mommy's curves? You don't want no skinny mommy. You don't want no skinny mommy, huh? So we in Texas. You sick, you fat. We, we in different. Texas, Shay. We fat. <laughs> yeah, just put on the sockies. Like, where the hair bread go? Can I say you, you got a fat, and you got this and that, and you got love handles. This don't work like that. Babe, I got love handles. <laughs> Dang, what happened to the hair bow? This is that quick. Okay, let's put some sockies on your bed. I know. Dang. Come on. Oh, it's over here still. Huh? Okay. Boom. Boom, big girl. They give it heat on it. It's hot. I just said turn. Okay. So we're going to try these bows. See if Ava don't pull them out because she don't like hats. She don't like bows. She don't like clothes. I didn't know babies didn't like clothes. When I put these socks on, she's about to lose it. Let's see, let's put it. Aw, look at you. Let's put your little baby hairs out right here. Let me see, let me see. Oh. Look at her, you guys. She's so pretty. You such a big girl, Ava. Yeah. You got enough for a ponytail, a little ponytail. <laughs> yeah, she's sitting up, you guys. She just turned six months and uh, she's sitting up. And she the biggest baby in her class. She 99% in height and 98% in weight. But she's 99% bigger than all little girls her age and 98% way more than them. But her BMI is good, so. She's just a healthy baby. Her grandpa is 6'6", her daddy is 6'2". Period. <laughs> the daddy jeans. Her grandma, her Gigi is, how tall is your mom? Like 5'10"? Uh, no, 5'9". Uh -huh. She's still, we all tall. Yeah, all tall. Hey. No little, no fun mm -hmm. size over here. Not the fun size. <laughs> Did you guys say she's so thank you um for do i want more kids okay so originally i didn't ever want any kids and then something happened as i was like getting closer to like 40. Say that, don't record that part but um and then you know i fell in love got married and we want he really wanted a baby and i was like having baby fever and we got blessed with ava and now like in the pandemic and corona I just feel like I kind of want another one just because like, I don't want her to be lonely. And all my friends said having two is kind of easier because they have someone to play with. And then I don't have to worry about her like going, like, you know, just being around a lot of other kids and stuff to get sick and stuff like that. So I don't know, I, I heard that she needs a friend. And if that requires me doing it again, then I'll do it again. Cause I actually kind of liked it. Must be the grown up haze in me. So yeah, I think uh, we want one more. God willing. Say hi, 
hi thank you guys we love all the support that you give us that you've been giving us the whole time baby ava is so blessed she feels so loved she's growing up in front of all of her eyes she loves all her internet tts and uncles she loves everything. She loves all her brands, the people that send her and bless her with stuff. She's a blessed little girl. Right, Ava? <laughs> Shout out to Solly, baby, right there. Yeah. <laughs> can I have our other toys? The, um, the little thing that she can stack stuff on top. Work on the motor skills real quick. You want a toy toy? <gasps> oh. Yeah, yeah. Get it, baby. You got the little bow in your hand. <laughs> yeah, she got her bow in. It ain't in. tight, is it? No, no, I didn't put it tight. It's just a little clip. Break mine. Get You're not going to break it off. She okay. Just no rubber bands. Any moms out there, you got any suggestions? No rubber bands, right? Thank you. Thank you. I try to be Ava Tall, yes. <laughs> we try to be... Um, our first Christmas. Ava's first Christmas. <laughs> uh, okay, get it. Let's get it. Ready? Take it off. Mm -hmm. They say activities like this help their motor skills. It's okay, don't get frustrated. Look at her. She's about to turn it up. <laughs> okay, don't get frustrated. Here. Ready? Let's put it on. Oh my God. Big girl. Yay. <laughs> okay. The next one. Is that the next big one? Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's see. Ready? No? Ready? <laughs> she gonna do it her way. That's one thing I learned about her. She for sure gonna do it her way. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's gonna do her own thing, huh? <laughs> yeah. No rubber bands. Okay, I agree, because I had to check Glamma about putting a um, silicone rubber band in her hair because I just don't want to pull it out. Daddy, don't, we don't want to pull what we got out. Just a little, it's just a little clip. I see, it's like a little clip. Just something to try to pull it together because she likes to pull it. She is a Gemini. Thank you, thank you. Brandy Beauty, I love you guys too. Thank you. She is watching Coco Melon. She's watching Coco Melon and she loves Super JoJo. <laughs> she thinks she's Super JoJo's sister, okay? Super what up, Petty King? Hey, friend. Super JoJo mm. got censored. You, uh, yeah, I heard, I heard um, they running old reruns of Love and Hip Hop. Oh. Um, I'm glad because people can see from where we went from there and then how we got to the conversation and how that went. It kind of, you know, gives people a refresher course on history, how this, you know, these things actually really went. Mm -hmm. Coco Melon taking over, period. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, we're a little family, but a lot of love. Mm. A lot of love, Ava. Yeah, she, how's she going? Thank you. <laughs> I have like, like I'm like bald lashes. Mm. Mm. Okay, so just show her. Cause she don't want. Okay, ready? You see? Look, you see? See this one? You want to do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's six months. We getting there. At least she's sitting up by herself. <laughs> right? Right, big girl. <laughs> Thank you. Happy holidays. How's everyone holding it down? I hope y'all are staying safe during Corona. That's something else that be bothering us, huh, babe? We be so 
and isolated, been like the whole pregnancy, which is probably how I gained more pregnancy weight than I normally would have if I would have been active. And um, even if you come in our house now, like I can take you in my glam room, we have a PPE sign. So before photo shoots or anything, we have a, you know, a separate bathroom, wash your hands, you know, with bacterial soap and um, UV lights to, you know, you know, anything that you could possibly bring in our home. We would, we would never want to get Ava sick or get sick and then I can't see Ava or something. And it just frustrates me sometimes because I see people just not taking it serious. And, I, and you know, maybe if I didn't have a baby, maybe I wouldn't take it as serious either. Like, maybe I'd be like, well, if I got it, I could fight it. I don't know. But being that we have been like cleaning and isolating and social distancing almost this whole year, you know, we can start crazy too. But it's just like we get frustrated because we don't feel like is there ever going to be an end to it because no one else takes it serious. And, you know, I want Ava to be able to go outside and play and eventually have friends, maybe go to a school, you know, something. But, you know, Houston is wide open it's outside and just not taking it serious. And we get so frustrated and we stay in this house together all the time except for doctor's appointments. Even get her groceries delivered. And yeah, I like somebody just there now, it's never gonna end. And that's, that's how we be feeling. Um, um, more uploads to YouTube. Yeah. They twins. Are they twins? <laughs> Ava. Ava, girlfriend, girlfriend. Are you daddy's twin? You daddy's twin. <laughs> <laughs> she want to get to something else. Okay. Let's take a walk. Ava has taken over. She has taken over my office at this point. This was my room. Looks like Ava land now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then under here is Ava's. Christmas sanctuary. We got G wagons, rockers. We got Vespas here. I got her a little piano. Daddy put all this together. And not that she cares or can tell, but we still want to try to. What did I? Oh, I got garden. She got a Maserati, kid tracks. We took these from outside because I don't get them right now. So my back staircase is hot. Here, turn the heat <sighs> This hallway. Turn some lights on. Boom. We get to Ava's nursery. It's kind of messed up right now because um, we were in here playing. And her daddy doesn't put anything back. And then we have our ball pit because we've been putting Christmas presents together here and then taking them down. We have beautiful artwork. Ava has skylights. <laughs> she has her little wardrobe rack, but she has a whole nother closet. We need to finish putting it together. Her crib that she never sleeps in. Her little lights, her TV, her pony cycles, her bed. She don't ever be in this bed. Ever. I don't even know how it's messed up. Ava bed fly. She got tough at it bed. Her other bed she never used. Play mats. Her little shelving with ballerinas and stuff. A lot of skylights. And yeah. So this is Ava's nursery. Her dad painted all this white to match this. This is like wood color. Devon painted it all. A little suitcase. We got new ball pit, so this one's not it anymore. Her dolls. I'm gonna come in here and clean it up. I'll come clean it up today. This was Ava's the other closet. Um, but yeah, you know, we just moved in, so it's a work in progress. <laughs> Here for it. Real Housewives of Houston. I'm telling y'all. Go live again soon. I will, I will. Y'all was being real nice to me today. Hey, y'all been being real nice to me in general the last, like, since my pregnancy and stuff. Um, 
and it's been a way different experience for me on social media not having people bash me and stuff all the time and like just being misunderstood and you know just having support for me and my family it really makes a difference you guys for real so i'm really thankful <laughs> i'm on the north side i'm in spring texas champion forest thank you i love you guys too well, I'm about to get off live. I'm going to go get my baby girl and make her some food, food and her neutral bullet baby. And, um, and I guess I'm going to go probably clean up her room and go get upstairs together. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.